Hey you guys and welcome back to Gal. Today is a Halloween special and I'm going to be showing you how to turn my eyes into three different fantasy looks. The clip that I'm including of me in front of the green screen, I've included in the description box below for you guys to download for free to follow along. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you an awesome green screen tip that you guys should know about. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Premiere Pro as the host program, as well as the plugin Boris FX Sapphire. Now Sapphire has a ton of awesome transitions and effects that you guys should use, but if you don't have Sapphire, you can download the trial and follow along with the video clip that I'm including. Without further ado, go ahead and download the links, the trial if you need it for Sapphire, as well as my clip, and let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so we're inside of Premiere Pro and here is the sample clip I've provided where I look like I'm trying to be a scary witch in slow motion. And I've trimmed the clip down to four seconds because we will be doing some tracking and the longer the clip, the longer that takes. So I trimmed it down for the sake of this tutorial. And first we're going to do the glowing eye look that you saw at the beginning. And if you want to see how to remove the green screen and add sort of that cool Halloween background that I had. I actually used some stock video clips from Envato Elements. So here's the sort of creepy background as well as some dark smoke here that you can play around with as the background. So stay tuned for the ending and I will show you how I created the full scene as well as some cool lighting effects just using built-in effects from Premiere Pro. So the first step here is to apply the Sapphire Edge Glow to this clip. So this is part of the Sapphire Lighting Unit. Let me just search Sapphire Lighting. And you can see within this unit, there are a ton of effects that you can play around with. But for this, we're just going to double click on Glow Edges to apply to the clip. And immediately it applies a glow to all of the edges of this clip. But first we need to isolate just the eyes. So this requires some masking. To do that, let's click on the clip, go to effect controls. And from effect controls, we can customize this effect and we can use Mocha within Sapphire because it's integrated. It's another Boris FX tool. So we're going to use Mocha to draw the mask around both of the eyes. So let's click on edit Mocha and this will open up Mocha. And this is where we're going to draw a mask around both of the eyes. So let's zoom in with the magnifying tool. Let's click on that, zoom in until we can see the full eye with ease and easily draw a mask. So there are two ways to do it. The first method is to use the X spline tool. So I'm going to click on this and then we're just going to click to create a point around this entire eyeball here. And once you get close to the end, just click on the first point that you made to close it off. Now, another quicker way to draw a mask is to use the magnetic tool. It'll automatically detect the edges, kind of like in Photoshop if you've ever used any magnetic tools. So click on the magnetic tool and then you can click once and just draw and it will auto detect the edges. Now here we can click again because we're going into a different edge and then let go and it will detect the edges again. And we can click to create the full mask. Now this only required a few clicks and the other one required many clicks. So it's completely up to you on what you wanna do. So let's go ahead and select both of these layers now and right down at the bottom, see that green flag there? That is where we drew these masks in this particular frame. Now, if we were to play this, these masks would stay in this exact place and they would not track with eyes. So we need to track this forwards and then we need to track it backwards from this point. So let's first track it forwards and this will track it frame by frame using your GPU, which is your graphics card. Now, Mocha is GPU accelerated for fast tracking. So now let's click back to this flag again just by clicking there and let's track backwards. 
So you can see how it tracked pretty nicely and it's okay that it's not perfectly on the edges because we're going to add some blur and intensity to the glow, which you will see shortly. So now just hit save up in the upper left and let's close out and immediately you will see that it's just the eyes that are glowing now. Now the next step I want to show you is to increase the brightness level of the glow to make it more intense. So you can increase the glow brightness just by using this parameter here. So I'm going to increase this to four just by typing it in and then immediately it's more bright. Now it looks a bit intense here and what we want to do is kind of spread it out so it actually looks like a light bulb glowing. So to do that toggle down from Mocha and you have a whole set of controls. So what we can do is blur the mask a bit here. So let's increase it up to 80 and you can see that it just made it a little bit more feathered out and less intense. So this is what I did to create the glowing eye effect and let me render it out so you can see what it looks like. So you can see as I open my eyes more in the scene, the light becomes more intense, which is super cool. So this is the glowing eye effect. Now let me show you how to create the red dark demon eye effect. Now rather than applying an entirely new glow edges effect, what we're going to do is duplicate it and just turn off the one that we have here. So if I hit this effects button, I can turn it off and it goes, and it goes back to the original. Now what I can do is I can hit Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC while this is selected to copy it and then Command V to paste it. And so what I will do is I will turn on the top instance and the bottom instance will remain off. So here is where we can go in and we don't have to redraw the masking all over again because it's already applied because this clip was just copied from the previous instance. So what we can do is go in and say, okay, we want this to be red because they're demon eyes. So let's choose a red color. And then the next step is to play around with the blend mode. Because in this particular scene, as you saw in the beginning, there was no background. It was just darkness. So all I did was I went down to combine and I changed it to multiply and then it completely got rid of the background. Now here we may need to get rid of some of the blur because you can see some of the blur. Let me just zoom in here to this program window to 100. And here you see a little bit of blurriness around the edges. So let's get rid of that. So to fix that, let's go up and let's reduce the blur down to 10. So we don't see any blurriness around and now it's just more intense on the eyes. And then if we want it to be a little bit more translucent, we can go down to source opacity and make and make it more transparent just by reducing this down to let's say 0.7. And as soon as I click off, you can see that it just gets a little bit more subtle. So now this is just a creepy eye effect as if you just see red eyes in darkness, which is a great effect that you can use during Halloween or any horror films. And to make it seem like somebody is blinking, what you can do is you can keyframe the glow brightness, which is here. So at this point in time, if you want the eyes to open, just hit toggle animation, then move this playhead over a bit and bring down the brightness to zero. And then between this period, the eyes open up which is super creepy. And you can also duplicate this at the end of the clip just by moving the playhead over, setting and adding a keyframe while they're still open, and then clicking the playhead just a little bit over and then reducing the brightness back to zero to make it completely go away. So let's render this out by hitting enter to see how it looks. So this is the end result, opening the eyes and then closing them. So what we're going to do now is the final eye set, which is the elf eyes. So let's go ahead and toggle this effect down and then let's also rename this. So let's rename it to red demon so we can keep track of it. And then this one we can rename to glowing eyes. And now because the elf eyes are just affecting the iris in the center, not the entire eye, we're going to apply another instance of the glow edges to this clip. So just double click to apply it. And let's turn off the red demon eyes. 
So because in this instance, we just want the iris to be affected, the color of the eye, not the entire eyeball itself, we're just going to track the iris. So let's click on Edit Mocha. Let's launch it open. Let's zoom in with the magnifying tool. Let's go to an area that makes it easy to draw a mask around each iris. You can see this one more fully. This one is kind of covered by the eyelid, but that should be okay. So let's use the X-Spline tool to draw a circle around this area here. And we'll draw a second one around the right eye. And then let's select both of them by holding shift, both of the layers, and then let's track it forward from this moment. And now let's click back on the green flag and let's track backwards. All right, so you can see it did a pretty awesome job at tracking that, so let's save it and let's close it off. And you can see immediately now it's just the iris that has the bit of glow in it. So from here, we can play around with the parameters again. Let's maybe choose a different color. Let's have it be like a green yellow color. So it's kind of like an elf. And once that is done, what we can do is we can reduce the glow width. So that way it's not too much outside of the iris. So let's reduce it down to 20 and let's see how that looks. That's looking a little bit better. We can also play around with different blend modes from Combine. So if you click on Overlay, you can see that it creates a more dramatic witch-like look. And what this did is actually affect the lighting of the shot as well. So it actually looks really creepy and it may work perfectly for a witch scene. And you can actually see the pupil more through in this result. So this is the ultimate demon look, as you can see. So this is a very creepy elf. Of course, we can play around with other modes. So we can try um, going back to add, just to see how that looks. And you can see it's just quite bright in the eye. But if you want this look, what you can do is just reduce the brightness down a bit. So let's say like 1.2. And then the glow brightness isn't as intense, which actually works perfectly in this regard. Um, so what we can do now that I think this is at a stage that I like is we can remove the green screen background. Now to do that, what I'm going to do is use a built-in effect just called the ultra key effect that comes built in with Premiere. So just double click to apply to the clip. And then from the ultra key effect in effect controls, use the dropper tool to select the green color. And then from setting, we can choose aggressive. And this will work harder to remove automatically the green from the background. So I'm not gonna play around with any of the parameters, but I do have a full tutorial on how to do green screen work. So if you're interested in these other parameters, you should check that out. So now let's close off the ultra key effect. And now we can move this clip up to layers and we can place the Halloween stock footage from Envato Elements that I got. So this Halloween night, let's drag it down here and let's roll this edit back to meet the duration of the clip. And then we can move the dark smoke underneath it. And since I want the smoke to be there in the opening, I can roll the edit out to meet this playhead and then shift it over and then click on the end of the clip to roll it in to meet the end of this clip as well. Now, right now my hand is out of focus because I used a prime lens, which has a 1.8 f-stop. So to make the background more believable, let's add a blur effect to the dark smoke and the background. So I'm going to search for Gaussian blur and I'm going to apply it to the Halloween night scene. And here from effect controls, we actually have to increase the blurriness. See how it gets more blurry? And then there is a kind of transparency happening around the edges. So to fix that, we need to click on repeat edge pixels and that goes away. Now we can 
click on this effect and hit Command C, and then click on the dark smoke layer, and then click in effect controls and hit Command V on our keyboard, and this will automatically apply it. Now we can maybe lessen this a little bit to say 45 so it's not as blurred as the background. So now you can see that it's starting to look more realistic, but what else we can do here is we can add some lighting effects from Lumetri Color. So we can select the video clip and apply more of like a blue cool uh, built-in creative preset here from Creative. So let's choose blue ice to make it match the scene more and the dark smoke we can also add a blue ice to make it look like it's more in the scene. So this is the end result here. If you want the eyes to be a little bit more intense, you can go back to glowing edges and we can change the combine mode, let's say to add, and it'll make it a little bit brighter. Um, and of course you can change, you can turn off this effect, which we should rename to elf eyes and we can change it to the glowing eyes. So now we have the same effect on the same clip. So let me just hit render to show you what it looks like. And so this is the end result. I really like how it turned out with the glowing eyes and in the background, it kind of matches the moon with the eyes. So I highly encourage you guys to play around with glow edges and other effects in Sapphire to create some pretty cool, scary and awesome effects. So that's how you create these awesome three fantasy eye looks. I look forward to seeing what you guys create. If you guys do this effect and follow along, be sure to tag me on Twitter at premier underscore gal, and I'd love to see what you guys create. But here is a quick green screen tip. So I bought this green screen off of Amazon and most of the green screens that you will buy on Amazon are these cloth materials. So to make it tight and not have any wrinkles, you guys should get a pack of these clips like this. And what I've done is I've taken the smaller size clips and I just pull the cloth tight along the pole, the stand, and clip it so it's nice and tight. And I do it all along the pole as well as the other side to get a nice tight green screen. So basically you just add the clips on both sides until you get it tight and then you don't have to iron your green screen at all and that is a quick tip. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Subscribe as well as hit that notification bell and until next time keep creating awesome video and I will see you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm. <laughs>